Ollie, another brilliant victory for the lads. Three wins in a row now. What were your, your take? Would you take on the performance and the result tonight? Yeah, a uh, difficult game. I thought Blackpool were were um, very comfortable on the ball. Uh, we did try to press them, but I thought they, they were quite comfortable, uh, especially in the first half. But I thought our defensive shape was brilliant. I don't. I think for a team that's gone 15, 16 games unbeaten, I think they had one shot at goal all, all game. Uh, and that was from outside the box. I thought we defended superbly, even towards the end when they had more of the ball, I felt really comfortable. Uh, and I think we should be really proud of that because the last two games, I think we've played really well. But when you're coming up against the bigger and better teams, I don't think you can expect to kind of dominate the ball all the time. Um, so to show the other side of the game uh, today, I thought it was superb, superb. Yeah, it felt like tonight was a, a bit of a tougher test. Obviously, Blackpool have been on an incredible unbeaten run. So to to put in the performance like we did at both ends um, really shows what what this team can achieve. Yeah, like I said, we're, it's, it's a really special group. I've been lucky enough to uh, be at the club for like five years now. And every change room I've been in, it's all been filled with amazing people, great pros, great professionals and we, every every team I play for, we always give 100% every single game. Uh, and I think that was evident again tonight. And it was just the, the one goal that split the teams tonight. You know, you, you came from your right boot of yourself. Just talk us through that goal and what you can remember of it. Yeah, I, I can't really remember it. I've not, I've not, I've not uh, seen it back uh, yet. I think there was a bit of play down the throw. And I think Aaron played it back to me and I took a touch inside. And a coach, I remember an old coach used to say to me, get get the ball where you want it to be on your first touch. And it was perfectly set up for me to hit it. And I just, I can't really remember, I just kept it low. And I just, I didn't even see it going, to be honest, just saw everyone celebrate. So I can't really comment much on it. <laughs> you two goals, got sort of quite similar goals in recent weeks as well. Is it something you've been working on extra in the training round? Or is it just a case of it is the happened to fly in for you in recent weeks? Um, no, when, when I got suspended, I had like, a week of like proper training for like the first time this season really because we've had so many games there's not been loads of time you're always recovering because the games are so intense like um so when I had that week of suspend when I was suspended I got some really good working on the training ground and I was really focused on my finishing because um I always want to have as many goals to my game as possible so I, I would say I'm kind of reaping the benefits of that um yeah and the, the celebration as well. We talked about your celebration after you go at Lincoln, went straight to the bench and everyone celebrated as one. Well. Same again tonight. Was that um, just an instinct of yourself? Yeah, I was talking about that in the change room, to be fair, because like, because there's no crowd in, that's like where the noise is, I think. So I think I am like gravitated towards that more than anything. I think if the if the fans was there, it would probably be slightly different. But uh, no, I always, I always like celebrating with the team because we are a very close, uh, close-knit group.